podcast episode 312. We have a lot of interesting people here this week. Uh, joining me this week, though, as always, is Josh. Yep, I'm here. Also joining me this week is Ben. Hi, Ben. Uh, and then we have Rory joining us soon. And deafening silence. <laughs> yeah, Rory's coming in soon. He's going to be here as soon as we can. Uh, my name is Jeff, and I just want to start off the show with saying, fuck you, Ben. The United States women's soccer team is worse than the Canadian soccer team. I literally could care less about sports ball. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just, I'm just I'm, so happy. I'm, I'm just happy that Canada got a win and gold. <laughs> I, I'm just so looking forward to next year when we get to have uh, this going on constantly. Mm. I mean, like, sports is just whatever to me. Would I you not don't watch? Care. Would you not watch two women fight it out with their bottoms? Oh, uh, I mean, I watched the anime, but that doesn't mean that I actually would watch the sport. <laughs> you wouldn't want to watch a bunch of tomboy duke it out with their asses if those are tomboys to you we need to have a talk they're not tomboys to me okay i, I just know say. for a fact that they would just be all tomboys or Probably. lesbian yeah i mean again i mean i i think sport. sumo wrestling should be a national sport personally speaking or a, a worldwide sport that's just me so here's 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 my problem. All right, when it comes to all that stuff, like when it comes to like even even esports and stuff, I find more enjoyment from waiting till it's over and then watching the highlights. I don't like following my teams and watching all their games because ninety eight percent of the shit is just boring as fuck, and I don't feel like watching it. I'd rather be doing something else with my time. Well, no, no, you're one hundred percent right. That's what you have to do. See, you don't watch the sport. You watch the you have the sport on your second monitor. While you're playing some a game or something like that, yeah. Or I could be listening to my favorite YouTuber that reads Reddit stories while doing Dungeons and Final Fantasy instead of watching sports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, we got some stuff we want to talk about this week. Um, I'm the only one who posted anything in the topic list because apparently I'm the only functioning citizen in society. Uh, but Ben, last time you were on, last time I was talking to you, you were complaining about Blizzard. <laughs> Fuck Blizzard. <laughs> oh. oh God, there's so much wrong with Blizzard. We had, me and Alan had an interesting discussion where Alan kept trying to say that Blizzard was not worse than GW, it was worse than, or not worse than GW, and GW was in fact worse than Blizzard. To which the conversation ended with me saying, okay, so Alan, could GW potentially save themselves in any way, shape, or form? And Alan responded, yes. Okay, is there any way, shape, or form that Blizzard could save themselves? To which the answer was no. Wait, GW, what, Guild Wars? Uh, Gamers, Games Workshop. Oh, oh with their debacle. Yes. Yeah, but that's just like them getting copyright happy because of the 3D printing bullshit. Like, I kind of get it, but like at the same time, they, I don't think they understand where they're, where most of their uh, new fan base comes from. And that fan interaction is very fucking important. I think Digital Extremes, with their loyal followers of, of Simps, would show you that promoting and engaging with fans is the best thing you could do because no matter how shit warframe gets they have this diehard fan base that will literally go to war for them because they're just like we like your shit we're gonna put it on our stream oh you, you made that cool uh, you made that cool skin for in 3d modeling for one of our warframes enter it in a contest we might put it in the game what does game workshop does we own all of your all your maps all your mods you can't make a penny off that fuck you how, Fuck them. How dare you have fun? Exactly. They're the fucking fun police. Oh, that they love to also just leave certain uh, game franchises just dead in the water because Warhammer <laughs> Fantasy is their most made money, whatever, next to their fucking miniatures. What? No, that's Warhammer 40k. Yeah. yeah. Isn't Game Workshop the same... Yeah. Across all that shit. Warhammer Fantasy got killed by Age of Sigmar, and literally Age of Sigmar is entry level 
entry level Warhammer. Oh no no, I'm talking uh, like Warhammer one and two on the PC. Oh, Total is, War. They're good games. Yeah, Total War games. They're good games. But then you look at like Total War Attila, and then the Total War uh, free to play game that they had, and you know um, Crusader Kings. I think is a Game Workshop game as well. Where they just leave them in terrible states, but then they're like, "We're going to release an actual a good game and focus on that," and say, "Fuck you to all your other games." Like even like uh, Vermintide kind of got fucked over for that shit. Yeah, but Vermintide was good. Wasn't that great? He says sarcastically, "Please shoot me." I mean, I liked it. I, I love Vermintide. Hmm. I just didn't like where they took the second one. It's like it made it more grindy for like no particular reason. And that and like you do damage based on your gear score. I was like, uh-huh. it made having a good weapon that had like the right stuff on it way less important than just having a higher item level item. Yeah, I didn't like that. I don't like that. I hate item level. Uh. It's like. That's why I hate fucking WoW for that shit, too. As soon as the fucking item level goddamn add-on came out, it ruined everything. I'm surprised they added item levels. That's kind of... Because it was an add-on that was so fucking popular. You're like, hey, this is not actually a bad idea, we think. And then it was an actual bad thing when they tied it into the actual, like, performance of the gear pieces. Huh. Because I know... Because before... Item level was literally just like, oh, this is the combined power of your items into a relative number. And then they tied it into mechanics because they're fucking assholes. It was just literally it's other fans who work there just going like, oh, we should add that and not realizing, you know, how things are detrimental to the design of the stupid game. Hmm. And speak about, uh, <laughs> people being hired by fans uh for that for uh blizzard uh their fucking court case like seems like as days goes on it's just getting more and more terrible shit goes on i have interesting opinions on that now it's, i want bobby kodak fired so fucking bad i have so many interesting opinions right now because it's like it makes me so mad because it's like Josh has been involved in multiple conversations where I have sat there and had to stand my ground where I say, I do not want to support this company. And now I like have to sit there and I have to go, man, I I really never want to give this company any of my money. And I feel vindicated for not giving them a cent. I gave them time, but I didn't give them a cent of my dollars. I feel so vindicated. I, I just think that even now, Oh, man, if, if there's ever needs to be a fucking union for gaming industry, I hopefully think it's uh, going to be at the end of this whole thing. Like, I. I have opinions on that, and it's not a positive. Union, a union would protect you from this garbage. A union would protect me from getting fired, but not from this trash. It would at least like put a company in check and yes. Sh- yeah. I think that, I think that like what people, th- yeah. I think people, I think people don't understand that. Like the reason why we need a union is because journalists are fucking idiots and knew that this shit was happening and didn't report it. I think that people don't understand the fact that this is a problem and didn't talk about it. I think this is on HR too. You think unions would have your best interest they at don't. heart. They, they don't. don't. Some of them and do. And they can't help you either because um, my mother works in a hospital and she works in the emergency department. Mm-hmm. Uh, they are consistently understaffed every single day. And not just like one nurse. It is anywhere from three to five nurses Every single day, every single shift block. And the union has been on the case of the hospital like, look, if you keep operating like this, somebody's going to die. And the situation in this in the status of the working conditions in this hospital are getting worse and worse 
every month. And the union is hounding them as best as they can, but they literally have zero power. There's literally nothing they can do. And they're going as far as, like, you know, like, we will, like, you know, do something. And they're just, they're not doing anything because they don't have to. Like, if a hospital is like, yeah, we could just, you know, abuse our workers as much as we want in a field that is so mandatory. I mean, I can only imagine what it would be like at a entertainment industry. They must literally have zero power. See, and that's something interesting is uh, I can say partially some of them do. Uh, I have friends in the industry right now, and they're saying they're saying that the flow back from this is basically there's been multiple meetings where a lot of the responses is report it, we will investigate it. And that is something that really needs to happen a lot more, I feel like. That's the thing that really angers me about this is that we found out recently that Jason Schreier knew. Jason Schreier beats the shit out of Bioware on a daily basis. Um ridicules a lot of the industry on a daily basis and constantly complains about the industry needing unions as a gamer when i found out that jason schreier used knew about this stuff it made me question was he involved at all in the cosby suite was he involved in anything that happened at blizzard so it's just Epstein 2.0, huh? Is, is, is this, what you're saying? Yeah. Is this, is this something where in a couple of years I'm going to find out that Jason Schreier committed all of these horrible atrocities? And I'm I, – I, I just don't know. Because uh, that's just the level above the average person. Like I see it all the time. On, on people talking about these stories of just like they go to HR with getting harassed and stuff and like we'll investigate it and then nothing happens right over and over and over because the higher ups they don't care because it doesn't hurt them in the end it doesn't matter if it's one or two for two people having problems in their company it doesn't matter it's not until when it's a blizzard level where it's literally an entire division mm-hmm. has gone off the rails that it even matters to these rich people because to them you're literally not a person yeah no i i'm just to the point where i'm just like this shit is horrible and disgusting and anyone who sits there and gives activision blizzard money um after this i have to question your fucking morals just welcome to fucking just don't uh, buy the new Call of Duty. Just don't. Just just don't. Don't don't buy don't buy the new Diablo. Don't buy Diablo 2 remastered. Just don't. Just don't don't give this company money. Just don't. Like I can't state that enough. If you're giving this company money, you're making a mistake. It it it, it is it is easier for you to boycott it. Like, as a matter of fact, don't give the industry any money. If you can help it, buy games on sale. Or or try to get them from um, EB Games used. Yeah. EB Games exists still. Actually, they're going to change the name of EB Games Canada to finally being. uh, What's the GameStop, the United States version of it? They're finally just going to change it. I am so sad. My I kinda, childhood is ruined. <laughs> I kind of hope they, with that name change, it means that we get some better deals or something, but it's Canada. Probably not. I, I hope to God that they go back to being a gaming store. Oh, they're going to be a Spencer's. They're going to have and dildo. Not, they're going to have dildos in the back. And not a nerd culture store, because that is the <laughs> most infuriating thing ever, is when I go into a, an EV games to pick up my video games. And like a chad hello let me finish this rant and then we'll sing all right well i just started uh, recording yeah go so ahead. i go into eb games and i try to buy my video games and then i have some idiot who doesn't understand pc gaming peripherals sit there and tell me why i'm an idiot while i'm trying to buy a game for my switch when i calmly say i play pc i i am not interested in your crap I, I don't need it. 
the best is when I get told that a Surface Book is better than my 6700K, 32 gig of RAM, 9 terabyte, 1080, t- 1080 uh, powered behemoth that cost me three grand that is a little long in the tooth is less powerful than a surface book i'm not at all offended anyways i mean that seems like a dumb thing to get offended about also hi i'm here now should we sink sink in three sink. two one yeah. i mean you're right it, It is important that I do not get offended about that, but it was something where when it was said to me, I had to question the person's intelligence. I mean, I just call him an idiot then. (laughs) You don't say that if you know anything. If you're a fucking coward. No, if you want to go back to that place because you need to get another controller. Whip your glove off, slap him in the face with it, and challenge him to a duel. That's the only solution. Oh, wait, you're right. Yeah, you need to do that. But what if I'm not wearing gloves? I just rip off my skin on my hand. That seems a little extreme, but if you're really mad about it, then there's no there's no alternative. Oh, God, that's like a fucking... I recommend carrying a pair of gloves so you don't have to tear the skin off your hands. Slapping somebody with a flesh glove. With your <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's like a brutal skit right there. It's like, I'm going to take my glove off. You're not wearing... Oh! Question, question. Do you slap him with, like, the inside or the outside? I Bo. think the, in- the inside. The inside. It's like it be really a- hard to take it off without exposing the inside, but I feel yeah. like you don't want to be to- rude, right? You don't want to, like, leave a big handprint. <laughs> it's just about getting their attention. No, you leave a big handprint, and then you yell at them, and then at the end of the skit, you just put it back on, but it's all loose and shit. <laughs> it's just like, it's like fat bastard at the end of Austin Powers, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just sort of hanging off. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh did, you, my god. did you know that you, you made you actually, your hand around it, and it sort of makes a slapping sound, is like the extra skin, sort of. <laughs> No, oh, that's fucking gross. I've been on here for like 30 seconds for what it happens, already right? degenerated. Yeah, it's called degloving. Horrible yeah, shit. It's yeah, it is called degloving. <laughs> you made it way funner there, Rory. Thank you. Hey, I'm here. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's me, uh, ya yeah, boy. You, mi- you missed our depressing conversation about Blizzard. Oh, yeah. The, what, it, I'm still boycotting them from the whole Hong Kong shit. Oh, I'm. I'm. I'm oh, I, I haven't was, bought anything since uh, when. Uh, Call of Duty. It? No, it wasn't Call of Duty. Well, I guess it's Call of Duty. I have but never like, bought a Call of Duty uh, game in my fucking life. I have higher standards than that. <laughs> While it's on sale, is that okay? I mean, no. that's fine. Because it was on deep sale and I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't, it was like $35. So don't, you it cannot was buy it. Half. You have to buy it from retail used. Oh, no, I bought it digitally because I'm far too lazy and antisocial for that shit. Uh yeah so so what the, so I, what the, uh, the all the all the Blizzard shit I think yeah. it's I think it's fucking I, great I'll, it's finally it, like I I mean I don't really care about like the individual instance I'm just glad that they're getting to the nail to the wall by something you know yeah, yeah. same yeah. took yeah. them fucking long enough fuck them yeah I, I like how Alan has been like sitting there me and Alan had an argument where Alan says that Games Workshop is worse than Blizzard I mean that feels like arguing over which pile of shit smells worse. <laughs> It seems like you. I feel like you'd have a much more productive time discussing the individual I, cases for them. Also, yes, GW is a steaming pile of shit. Why would you ban fan content? Like, I mean, what the fuck? I mean, <laughs> at least we got the we got a berserk style ending for uh, TTS. You mean not an ending? Because <laughs> it's yeah. dead. Yeah. That doesn't make me feel better, uh, Jeff. That just makes me sad about two things. <laughs> so TTS is over, effectively. Yeah. We Unless they run clip. this back, but they probably won't do I mean, that. <laughs> At least not for I a mean, while. I think they could, but... Uh, eh. Kitten died. TTS? Yeah, oh, that? text to speech. It's a uh, or uh, TTS is yeah, text to speech. It's it's I don't know if you're you you've seen it at all, but it's the uh, just like a fan made series that's got long ass episodes, uh, using like just moving still images, and it's mm-hmm. what would happen in the forty k universe if the emperor had a text to speech device. TTS for short. 
Mm-hmm. It sort of evolves from like a, a uh, like a lore, like podcast sort of deal into like its own series, its own fan fiction, basically. Mm-hmm. It's it so neat. under under Game Workshop shit that that's just dead even too. Oh, like yes. everything. All the, like the, Damn, the I didn't realize it was even like just written fanfic was even the too much. Yeah, no, it like fan fiction gone. Fucking people who were doing like lore videos gone. Gone. That guy, that that one that's guy with fucked. like the uh, like the really gravelly British voice who did like lore readings. Who mm-hmm. that guy was fucking great. I can't remember what his name was though. Luton? No. This is... uh, Arch? No, not Arch. The other guy, you know. He was he was he this was is lesser why. known. I mean Arch Wolf has other Lord. other stuff. And Wolf like, Lord uh, Rowe? No. Uh, he's, his <laughs> avatar was like a smiling guy. Oh. Like deep British guy. He sounded like an old he was like an old or he sounded like an old man in any way. Yeah, so, anyways, world, so, world sucks. So, company being asshole, and then f- they're probably going to end up being, uh... Gonna be eaten by this. I was, was going to say, they're going to... They're going to be eaten by this worst decision because they're going to be like, oh, where did all of our fans go? It's like, you chased them away, you morons. They went to Battletech. Yeah, they, <laughs> no, went, that's they went to that's, another company. That's hilarious. That's why I said... The DE did it the right way with their fans. They embraced it all and even even put their stuff in their games. That's and like I said, no matter how bad Warframe gets, because it's not great right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, G- it os- GW. I mean, Warframe oscillates from be- between being great and terrible, like basically all the time. I mean, GW, basically what ended up happening is GW said, we're going to make a subscription service. And what they should have done is they should have said the subscription service includes models and it also gives you access to a starting season two, oh, like two weeks in advance. And what ended you, up happening you know what they really needed to do what was create high quality 3D maps for figure paint for figure printing and sold that shit. Yeah. Because people would fucking eat that shit up. And then you just, like, you know, basically all you need to do is, like, make it so, like, you know, it's, like, severely limited or something. To where, like, you can't just start passing it around once you buy it or some shit. What is it with yeah. fucking companies when they were, they just, like, so they still do, they do really well. They make good decisions. They make a bunch of money. And then they go, oh, man, time to really fuck things up now. <laughs> It's because they pass they hands complacent. to someone else. No, I feel like yeah. it's not even complacency because like GW was doing all right. And then COVID hit and then their numbers went like fucking bonkers huge. And then now they're do- then they started up a bunch of programs to like improve their brand. And then those programs fucked everything up. Yeah. <laughs> Especially know, given how f- like fan driven so, like Warhammer, Warhammer 40K, like. Uh, like fans slash word of mouth is kind of mm-hmm. it just kind of sounds like it's more they hire new people and the people got into higher positions and they don't know how this works quote unquote and then they just fucking f- fuck the fucking shit the bed completely pretty much like it just sounds like new management doesn't know how to manage nor understand oh, yeah. their product it, like, like here's the thing business people ruin everything yeah yeah, yeah. like that's always it, been true like when a guy it, it, comes into any sort of like media uh, or piece of fiction and goes like, how can we make more dollars off of this? He's going to fuck it up. Yeah. Because he didn't give a shit about what, whether it's good or not. Uh, yeah, he just wants money. He just wants them What's, bucks. What was the fun That's name? The, the way businesses work right now with the public being going public and stocks and all that shit. It's obviously the worst way to run a fucking business. If you can keep your business private for as long as possible, fucking do that. Look at Valve. There's the minute investors get involved, your shit's fucking done. Pretty much. Uh, oh. I, think, I said look at Valve. I think Joe Marketing needs to slap in the face sometimes. I think Joe Marketing is really a fucking big idea. And, and anyone from the Joe corporate family can, can <laughs> yep. take a long breath on a short shaft. Mm-hmm. Just like, I mean, he's important. He's needed just no. so we could be like, 
I just just for opinions on certain things. But other than that, he just needs to slap across the face of like, this is how we make more money. No. How will we put the business people in like a dark room and sort of chain them to the wall for when we need them? <laughs> exactly. Instead of the other way around. <laughs> they have red beady <laughs> eyes. <and they're laughs> fucking the skeletons. But their skin just, attached. Uh... <laughs> but they're still alive because of some marketing thing in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> they have a computer with Twitter or something constantly tweeting out the fucking business motto or something that's keeping them alive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I just I don't understand what makes people want to acquire so much wealth. Like I get that like having money and stuff, like you know, it makes people happy. It can. Money money can buy happiness in a way because it can buy opportunity to achieve happiness. Are you kidding me? No, Ben. You don't understand. Money can buy you a Lamborghini Gal Diodoro, a Nissan GTR, a Bugatti Veyron. If you want to tell me money can't buy you happiness or buy you opportunity for happiness, you, you don't know, know the shit about hey, cars. Jeff, you'll well, how never how own that any of those cars. Though? I just want you to know that. <laughs> like 50 uh, I, years of my fucking life no uh, never <laughs> <laughs> I remember telling that to Stefan and just breaking his heart a little bit it was really funny <laughs> oh yeah I'll show you and get like that one like, eighth like, model oh, cast like, car sorry sorry I'm getting I'm getting sidetracked with my bullying I, I just <laughs> want I, wanna... I just want a two liter V10 that's all I want <laughs> But I mean, to I your point, in the vehicle. like money, I mean, money just sort of like buys you status, privilege, opportunity, that sorts of thing. Yeah. Alternatively, like, I mean, just society places a bunch of like value on money. Yeah, it, it's able more to do ca- shit. It kind of comes down to uh, the, uh, what was it was going to I had a point before I wanted to say it was more of like psychology slash. Like if you see the line go up, you feel happy. If you see it go horizontal, you're afraid. And you see it go down, you want to commit death. Like, yes. like if you see it go horizontal at all, you're immediately afraid of it going down. So you got to do something to make it go up again. Well, I mean, that's like, just, you can't. That's just sort you of can't lot. have it go horizontal because you can't have it go horizontal because okay, like <laughs> it's it's a death sentence. Apparently, that's just that's what that's a lot of companies the, say. That's just loss aversion. And I mean, like, yeah. that's just sort of like that is like a part of our psychology where we lo- weigh like losses twice as heavily as gains. So you always yeah. have to have like more gains. Otherwise, you're losing stuff. I don't know. I'm like, like that with saving my cash. Basically, it's like if you see see the line go horizontal, it's like you're not winning, you're not losing, but you're alive. So that's like if anything, that's a plus. Like I, I don't know. I'm sure there's some marketing. I mean, most philosophy. people want to feel like they're progressing before they hit their inevitable demise. You know. I guess yeah. so. Mortality, it's just, though. It's just that, like, if, when people it's see, just when like, the number it, hits a certain point, you need to stop. Yeah. Nah. Nah. Number go bigger. Number like, go bigger. This, this is why we're not business people. Yeah. yeah. This is why I probably would be a bad boss because I'd be like, oh, I got all this money. I guess I'll put it back in the company again. And then I was like, no, stop that. Uh, no. What? Oh, here we go. No, Josh, you buy a car. And no, then you here make you go. Here's the money in the company. What? Stop it. No, here. I don't need. Uh, here's half. I don't need this. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, anyways, do we? I don't know, man. Business is dumb. <laughs> anyways, I got. Has anyone else watched the A-Data uh, Extreme Innovations video? The what? What? Who? Yeah. Oh, what? sorry. Who? Shit. Lock I just realized my fan was. was on and oh, yes, he was picking it up. That's going to be coming over through the sound. Apologies. Nice. So A-Data uh, and XPG ran an event. And I got to say, it was the most cringy product announcement event ever. And it was so cringy, I just had to put it in the topic list because the event was basically hosted by a VTuber and not a good VTuber. Oh, dear. It was awful. Uh, Is it safe? I have to go for five seconds. Yes. Ah. Because nothing can be as as uh, as bad as Sega. uh, Oh, God, it is. Wow. Ooh, that's a... Ooh, boy. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Bad, the bad. Oh dear! Oh, this is oh, this is a thirty-minute event, and oh no! 
Yeah, just kind of like skip to the end when you get like the full body thing, and then just just look at that animation. Oh, that's uh, that's not good. Hmm. Well, I mean, this is what happens when you don't have Paul marketing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You need Paul, Joe. But keep them in, and keep them in the marketing where's cave. That, uh, where's that gif? Uh, I'm back. Sorry. The, 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 probably this, just, that's, it's that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that, that's, that's, a, that's a good comparison. Yeah, we do are Felicans? hashtag relatable. Exactly. VTubers <laughs> like them kids, right? I mean, this is, this is still the work of Paul Marketing. It's just an old Paul Marketing. Exactly. Boomer Paul Marketing. I just, I just like, so like the one thing that I noticed is like, I'm watching the video and I'm like, okay, and there, there's some really good information there, like DDR5 and um, XPG laptops and stuff like that. So there's some really good info in there. And then all of a sudden I'm like watching it and I'm like, the main VTuber girl moves and I just like see like their chest like wiggles. And I'm like, wait, what the fuck? I mean, you need yeah, to take it like serious titty physics you need i was those. gonna say the, the boob physics was a bit extreme because it just looks like they added dead or alive boob physics when he had set it up to 9999 ah yes yeah. hey, hey, hold on yeah yeah you, boob physics is way better than that and you take that back <laughs> mister do you don't set that thing up to 999 then <laughs> They're not that bad. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Like, oh, so yeah. It's just so, just weird. It's like you shouldn't <laughs> have to add boob physics to this. Like, oh. hey, look, yeah, man. That was some some animator, right some animator made made like a paycheck off of that. Oh yeah. <laughs> they probably went to him. It's like, all right, we need, we need to animate this. It's like, okay, where do you it's want to put the, the titty like, guy, the Don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> T-shirt is just says big titty. <laughs> oh, uh, don't, I got gotcha. you. know what the worst part is? The one guy you, who you can wear professional breast inspector T-shirts, unironically. <laughs> <laughs> you 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 know what's gonna happen next? Oh, what? Even bigger, even bigger titty lady. Asus is going to make an actual VTuber that's actually decent, and it'll be a Chad. No, all of all of the all of the yeah, all of the tech companies are just going to come out with anime girl mascots, and as the power of their processors increases, they will gain larger breasticles. Oh, yes. Oh well, general, for, uh, general for my reaction to this, <laughs> because this is the exact same thing that happened to the Samsung. Uh, check. It's the exact same thing. We all we all know it's coming. I mean, you put a I mean, waifu on the internet, you know what's going to happen to her. Uh, mm -hmm. I Sorry. Can't wait for the war of bigger boobs for each company. Like for the the next one, slightly bigger chest. The next one, slightly even bigger chest. Then it just keeps going, and finally, you just get the one that's just a planet. No. Nah, con well, console wars. <laughs> nah, miss me with that gay shit. I'm I'm here for the titty wars. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, I'm just thinking of like Blade Runner, but instead of like the big ads with like the Asian lady drinking a Coke, it's just a big, big planet of boobs. <laughs> Coke or something. <laughs> Planet <laughs> boobs. <laughs> Planet boobs. That's like some like fucking starbarians. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, not that. Oh yeah, that. I yep, can't wait exactly till we that. reach. I can't wait until we reach the stage in our evolution where starbarians is a documentary. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there one of these days. One day. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> It'll be like several thousands of years, but we'll get there. It will be past the 40k universe. The the uh, the the apex of humanity. <laughs> <laughs> oh we boy. will become starbarians. All right, uh, what was the topic we were talking about? We just already got sidetracked. Hey, Data oh, yeah, XPG. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some interesting DDR4 information. Apparently, DDR4 is faster than DDR. Uh, DDR5 is faster than DDR4. I, I never played I guess the instant revolution. Is it at the point? Yeah. Uh, it also has ECC, which is interesting if you care, which most of us don't. 
yeah, pretty much new laptops, new good things. Cool. Uh, oh, I yeah. found a. I actually found a company. Actually, it was a Linus Tech Tips did a video of this company that actually had modular parts for a, a laptop that's actually just not e not even that much bigger than like a Mac Air. Yeah, it, I almost bought that. I also wanted to buy that, but I was like, ah, do I really need a laptop in my life right now? Because yes. I'm like, that's that's the thing. It's like, if I'm moving actively, I would want it. But I, right now, it's like, no, I'm just at my house all the time and I don't go anywhere. So it's like, eh, I don't think I necessarily need it. But I'm like, I think this company's cool as fuck and I'll spread the word as much as I can because, wow, that company's awesome. I'm going to buy it, and then what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to drive it to Josh's house and then just start taking out components in front of Josh just to watch the pain and suffering in his face. No, I'll be like, oh, it's a laptop. You can do the part things with it. That's so cool. Yeah, and then I'm just not going to allow Do Josh to touch it. <laughs> I'm going to be like, you want to touch the keyboard? And when you go, yes, I'll be like, no, you're not allowed. Fuck off. Touch, touch, touch. Jeff, I feel like this is something that would hurt you, but not most other people. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, uh-huh, so what's that do? You will uh -huh. overestimate this da the damage this does to, to the normies, to the normals. <laughs> sort of. Sort of normie. Kind of. Kind of. But uh, I just want to look at that company now, because I'm like, what the fuck? Framework fuck's laptops, I actually was like looking at them today, and I was almost about to buy them. Yeah, because man, like, that's cool ass laptops that it makes even like Mac, Mac and shit look, look terrible. Because it's like there's literally no reason why you couldn't do this. And this other company is showing you could totally do this. And even in the same form factor as the fucking Mac Air, it's like you can't do this. It's not impossible. Don't lie. Like, it's, <laughs> yeah. So it's oh, like yeah, this no. is an awesome like, company. Yeah, these, uh, I mean, like, companies always want you to be more dependent on them, specifically. That's why the whole right to repair thing has to be a movement rather than just an, a statement yep. of fact. Yep, yep. Oh, the fucking right to repair thing is so depressing. <laughs> I mean, it at least like, seems to be going well from what I understand. It's, it's Right to repair is such a wonderful thing. Yeah. It's, I mean, you, you think it's going well until you realize that they when the, what they passed in the EU basically excludes everything that yeah. is cell phones. Yeah, it, it excludes actually the things that you need the fucking right to repair for. It's like, what the mm -hmm. fuck? Like, uh, <laughs> man, hopefully that will maybe get fixed, but uh, who knows? It will take 20 <laughs> years. Yeah, dude. The way the EU works, dude. By the time by the time they figure it out, we won't we'll be using cell phones anymore. Hot mess. No, yeah. We'll be on Mars with a new uh, right to repair. I mean, if we even make it that far at this rate, I would. I would love to move to Mars. Because I mean, if you haven't realized, the planet is on fucking fire. You know, while we're on Literally. the topic of like the whole right to repair shit. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, what's his name? Lewis Rossman? No. Unique name. Mm. Unique name, Asaurus. That guy. The YouTube guy. He's got mm -hmm. a video. He's been, he's been like a piracy advocate for the past couple years. He's got a, uh, he's got a video out there. I watched like fairly recently. Uh, that's, that's about just like, man, fuck it. Abolish all IP law. <laughs> and he makes a pretty damn convincing <laughs> argument. Oh, yeah. I, I even thought like long and hard, like hearing podcasts about IPs and like in certain copyright laws. And it's like it gets to a point of like it doesn't fucking work nowadays at all. No, it's, 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 it's exclusive. Like once there are rules, there are people who will find out how to game those rules. Yeah. And it's just it gets to a point of like, get rid of them. It doesn't help. Yeah, we can play Disney for that. Oh, yeah. yeah thank you. Disney. Mm -hmm. Fuck you. Fuck you, Disney. <laughs> like, fuck. holy shit. Fuck We're Disney. due for Disney to push for another copyright extension on Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's going to be like another 150 years. And then f what's going to be the tipping point for that, too? It's like a 300 years and then like the stagnation of creativity. And then like 
Josh, Josh. We're already reaching the stagnation of creativity. Have you looked at the movies they've been making lately? It's oh, all reboots, remakes, reimaginings that are just yeah, because we can't fucking use dumpster the old fires. Because it's still an intellectual property of somebody, and they've been dead for 20 years. Mm-hmm. It's not protecting like the creator anymore. Well, it's, it's actually stagnation. The income Company of dick bags. That owns it. I was gonna because say it's stagnation of the U.S. John business ruining things again. <laughs> yeah, fucking John, dude, John, <laughs> fucking Joe. businessman, Johnny. Dude, like, it's uh, IPs like trading cards. It's fucking Magic the Gathering for them, except it's worth billions. Like, kind of like real Magic the Gathering. <laughs> we, we gotta trade. Okay, guys, we gotta trade up from this movie franchise to another movie tran- franchise that's a little bit better, so we can make our deck a little bit better. <laughs> We need some fetch lands. We need to get the fetch lands, guys. Come on. Lands, yeah. <laughs> What's Basically, the IP yeah. equivalent of a fetch land? Oh, God. Would that be the Marvel franchise? Mm, that would, possibly. That's that, pretty, I mean, that, that, that metaphor works. There's a fucking million of them. They're all worth cash. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Except for Black Widow. Makes sense. Oh, Black Widow would be like the black green fetch. That's so cheap. It's like 40 bucks compared to like the other ones were like 60 and 70. Although they're actually getting a lot better now. They're like $30 each, I think. Only certain ones, at least. Because of you the know modern. What? modern you know another example of fucking IP? The reserve list. Now that we're talking about Magic the Gathering. Oh, fucking get, oh, get yeah. rid of that shit. Oh, fucking yeah. toss that in the garbage. Oh my god. Do you understand how happy I would be if the reserve list got abolished? If all those like million dollar collections that people are just hoarding become worthless overnight? Oh I, shit. I actually I don't think I'd be, I, I don't think I I I I'd, I'd, I don't think I've ever been erected as I would be there. Holy oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. I am in the fir- in the same boat. They should get rid of the reserve list. But I actually think that because the cards are freaking old and you just can't get these anymore, they will still keep value because they're freaking old and they're I not going to dis- They just won't be as yeah. like, ridiculously valuable as they are. And yeah, exactly. Make prints make new ones. Fuck it. Or Who or cares? even like or even just say, like, we're not going to make the exact same cards as we did before with like maybe, you know, same art or same background. It'd be like. It's not going to be the same thing, but slightly different. I, the, even the older cards would still have a lot of value because there's even some examples in Magic Gathering that have been printed since then are still valuable. <laughs> it's just like, I, like, like, fuck, like, uh, what was it? Birds of Paradise. Like, it's still even now, like you get the most recent one pretty cheap, like seven bucks. And then there's all the way back up to Alpha. And that thing's like, what, seven hundred dollars, thousand dollars? Like. That's a good example of like, I, yeah, it's like probably the reserve list doesn't work. No, I mean, it just serves to make like to artificially inflate the value of like old ass cards. Yeah, and that's about it. Although <laughs> I, I think uh, although since we're theory crafting about the reserve list leading, uh, it would probably lose 50 percent value in MTG. Then it'll oh, slowly think, go back up, slowly no. go back up over time. No, I don't think so. What, I think more the, or less? The, the, the fact that you can't get any that aren't old as fuck, it like skyrockets the fucking perceived value because they're in addition to being a collector's item, people who actually want to like use them for vintage, which I imagine is not a huge portion, but like they only have the value that people believe they have. And if they become more common, even if the newer version isn't exactly the same, Mm. Like That's still like a lot of perceived value Lost I don't yeah. know I think it would drop like wildly I think like maybe like alphas Printings of stuff They would still retain value as like collector's items But not to the not nearly to the same degree I think 50% like them retaining 50% Would be generous At best Or are so we you're bo- saying we're Black both Lotus wrong? would not be worth Like 20 grand Hmm Oh, black uh, black lotus would still be a lot because that's still a fucking broken ass card. Oh yeah, I mean it's only legal in like what vintage, and yep. even then it's limited in that format. But yeah, yep. Good old it's black fun. lotus. Good old black <laughs> lotus showing how game design was broken back then. I mean they didn't know what they were gonna have. Plus, no like, idea. How broken thing. Hmm. <laughs> uh. 
I'm just saying, is it not broken now? No, no. Uh, I mean, it's even more not... broken now with all the cards you can actually use with it. I mean, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. really, like... because, like, I mean, it already can win you games turn zero or turn one or whatever. I mean, even even standard's pretty busted still, isn't it? Um, it's uh, slightly standard, better. No, well, standard rotates out a bunch of shit. And yeah, there's power creep in that, but eventually you like you like the problem cards leave and then a new meta rises to replace it. Like yep. there's always going to be a meta in standard. Don't but... get rid of the problem cards. They just leave them anyway. No, uh, they, you're talking about modern. Modern is the one where just shit stays forever. Yeah. But like, I mean, even then, like so the stuff that's r- like ridiculous like it gets gets booted like uh, what was it oko stone warden stone Ward shaman the thing that uh, was like nahiri before nahiri and uh jace the wallet breaker mind sculptor oh, that's his real name yeah jace the mind sculptor he was jace the wallet breaker because the car was worth like 120 dollars or something yep and getting a foil was like 250 250 bucks Mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. It, it was absurd vo- value. I think they one. came out around the same time and they got taken out of modern. So they're legacy yep. only. Well, the funny thing was uh, it was Stoneforge. Mi- yeah, Stoneforge, Stoneforge Mystic. Stoneforge Mystic. That's the that's the one. Yeah, it's actually got unbanned like a year or two ago. Uh, yeah. And the, and uh, uh, Jason Mice Sculptor also unbanned like a, it's about the same time. Because they're go. realizing, because realizing, yeah, but you're realizing because in modern, there's actually a lot more removal there is in, uh, in that game in modern. And also there's just like, oh, because of all this removal, like these are not as bad as people thought it was. And there's just more cards to the meta that uh, it can deal with it. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. they were banned because they like broke standard wide open. Oh, yeah. Uh, they From, broke like, standard modern. and modern and modern wasn't that popular or what modern wasn't necessarily a thing or that popular at the time so it just kind of blanket banned it at the time and then it was like oh it just no one got to use these cards forever <laughs> they yeah. ever unban Amrakul from commander uh i don't think that's ever gonna be unbanned because it's considered unfair quote unquote i mean yeah but it's commander everything's fucking stupid i mean sure although if the i think the only other cards that uh uh or consider broken and like not fun if, for the what the committee says is be like mass resets because if there's a mass reset card they kind of don't want that there oh like karn just karn, like starting yeah. new game shit although i think that's still legal but you can still remove it like pretty fast because you, you just don't like, want that there. i remember commander games like you need board wipes and that shit because people just pop off all the time with crazy bullshit yep yep or not even just a board wipe, just a good, precise, like, that thing's now a frog. And you're like, oh, now my whole deck is crippled. Yep. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> well, I mean, your deck shouldn't be crippled if it's, like, commander. Because, like, your commander... Like, yeah, you're you're talking about the commander itself in that case. And, like, yeah. you should be able to find a way to get a frog killed if it's on your side. <laughs> I mean, like, it depends on the deck. Because I tell you right now, with my current uh, Animar deck, I'm sure I know you remember my Animar deck. It's just I put it out as fast as I can, get the big fatty creatures for cheap as possible, mm-hmm. and then I just be like, all right, here's this fifteen fifteen, and here's this ten ten, all right, and here's another ten ten. Oh, this one gets actually three more counters. Hold on, and like. <laughs> It's kind of absurd, but if you turn Animar into a fucking frog, I actually don't have a way to get rid of it. I have to constantly throw it at people just so someone has to chump it. <laughs> well, just like, kill. Yeah, like, well, no, like, here's the thing. Just kill your own frog, goes back to the command zone, and then you bring Animar out again. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's actually what I try to do. But again, people around the board go, no, I can let that through. That's fine. Oh, I'll 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 hit the other thing that you have, but not that Animar. It'd just be like, not oh, I'm frog. waiting 50 Frog-a-mar. turns. Yeah. <laughs> Frogamar, yeah, 50 tor- turns with fucking Frogamar. Although I want to <laughs> well, draw I mean, that that's now. Just, that's just strategy. <laughs> they see a weakness in your in your in your setup and go like, how about your giant creature becomes a tiny frog that can't kill me, and then I won't Damn. kill it because then you could get your big scary thing back again. Damn. <laughs> Why did I say the forbidden words of Magic the Gathering? You, yeah, you <laughs> really made a mistake there, bud. I haven't played in yep. years, and it's all, still all coming back to me. I mean, you remember. I don't understand a thing you guys are saying. 
<laughs> I haven't played Magic the Gathering since like 2012. I haven't played oh. it since I graduated Nate like five years ago. So not that far off myself, bud. But I've I been playing. St- I still remember. <laughs> I've been playing I it. Do not uh, know any of these names. Oh really? Oh man. No. I mean, like, it's fun still. I still get into it if you ever want to. But at the same time, it's like if you don't want to, it's understandable. You gotta have, you gotta have a consistent okay. group, or it's not as fun. If you want to know how good I was at Magic the Gathering, um, there was a point where I played it quite a lot, you know, at home and at school with my friends and stuff. And then I started going to pre-releases. I went to three of them, and uh. I never won a game. <laughs> I never won a single game of sealed deck. I love playing it, but I never won a single game. Okay, so here's yeah, the thing. That that's that's kind of the point. I yeah. fucking I I'll be honest, I also didn't really enjoy like drafts or pre releases as much as just playing with a bunch of people at Nate with our with I, our own decks. <laughs> You know, exactly. and then I went to one Friday Night Magic, got absolutely stumped by this weird deck that was like elephant and elves, and I was uh, and I didn't even fall. play my same game because I was just like, if this is the caliber of deck I'm facing, I don't even want to be here. And I packed up my shit and I left. <laughs> yeah, bullied. that happens. That happens. Uh, that's another thing. It's like if you can't necessarily find that play group to f- like, uh, hey, it would be that similar play level. And to try to you know make your own fun dumb decks, then you probably have a decent time. But at the same time, if you're just like a lone person just going to tournaments, you're probably going up against spikes and like other people who are just tryhards. And it's like, oh, oh, oh boy. Yeah, I never went to a tournament. It was always just our I, like casual thing. I built like one modern deck, and that was like the, the whole, thing uh, is, that was like right before I stopped playing too. Yeah, I didn't even do anything like crazy with my friends that I played, but they hated my decks because like. I would literally just like, uh, God, what was this? Oh, no, like, I mean, I you just run into salty people in general. I've told this story before about how I like beat Cullen with my Eldrazi deck. Josh knows the one. And then he oh. never played me in Magic the Gathering ever again. <laughs> <laughs> you refused I mean, people, to. people didn't like my decks, even though they were like not even that great. I mean, I could claim I the know, same I thing. Tr- I tried to play the, the Magic the Gathering like on Steam. Like that one. Oh yeah. And I still I just I can't get into it. Like the older just, ones? Like Magic 2014, 2015, or like the new uh, arena one. Arena. Uh, okay. I should play arena. Yeah, yeah no, arena. I played, I used to play the old like Magic the Gathering 2014, 2015 on Steam. Those games were fucking great. Man. Yeah. They were actually a blast. Playing like, two headed giant I mean, with my friends, hell yes. <laughs> I forgot you could I, do yeah, that. I, I try to get an arena. Just mm-hmm. I don't know, man. Maybe maybe playing meta magic just isn't fun for me. Like even like there was a point when I hit Hearthstone oh. when like no, I that's just why like couldn't bring myself. That's why like Commander's like the, anymore. the the most popular format right now because it's it's casual and dumb and the games last a while. Yep. Like you're not really going for the throat in that because like a bunch of people have different command. Uh, uh, win conditions and usually you have like a big group or at least in my experience you did yep of course sometimes there's a guy who just goes there with like three of grave pact effects in his deck and just makes sure that no one gets to do anything but or uh, or someone comes in with like a, com- a competitive uh, commander deck and you're like oh dear he's gonna be the arch enemy <laughs> I never did so that one have to- but I was the I was the asshole who brought like the deck with like I'm gonna just kill all my creatures and kill all your creatures in the process Oh, frick. Uh, oh, someone, if I remember correctly, someone had a commander deck that was a certain spirit from Kamigawa that every time it, you put it in play and it sticks, you can target any creature with any spell and it will die. So oh, it'd that be like, sounds broken as fuck. Oh, it's broken as fuck. So well, it's, I mean, it was kind of. I mean, generally, if you're in games like that, you're expecting people to have like a fuck ton of removal. Oh, yeah. Creatures exactly. are supposed or, to die to removal. That's why a lot of the, the harder to get rid of ones are like untargetable or indestructible or whatever. Yeah. 
but at the same time it's like that that deck alone it's like oh that shuts off like 65 percent of decks because like if you goes off well and you don't remove the problem he just plays his cheap shit over and over and he just removes all your shit <laughs> and then he swings in for like maybe five damage six damage over turns and turns and turns and then you just get whittled out and you're like fuck that sucks see that's the part that's the that's why like you wanted to do commander games where with like at least four people because if some person starts taking a really commanding lead you're just he's, he's just painting a big target on himself oh oh also you or can elbow the guy beside Deck that's designed to ruin fun. Like <laughs> Stefan built yeah. a land destruction deck, and like oh, the moment he pulled it out, like he'd been talking to me about it for months. The moment he pulled it out, I was like, "All right, you die. I don't care if I lose, but you're here to ruin fun, so I'm killing you first. <laughs> <laughs> and I just murdered him. Well, <laughs> and then that's died. also that's also a rule. Like I, I watch other Magic the Gathering. Uh, player uh, players on YouTube and stuff, and they talk about like rule zero, which is talk to your fucking play group about what deck you're playing. Because <laughs> hey, the guy who just wants to play and chill probably doesn't want to go up against your competitive as fuck like commander deck, like or maybe take out that infinite combo that you have. It only takes two cards to do, and you can go fetch for it easily. Like, like it's just you know everyone just wants to do some stuff and have fun. That's all you all you have to do. Like, do you want to win? Probably. Is there... Do you want to keep friends? You probably want to. So just fucking... Just talk about it. Or just build but, a deck that kills everyone. Speaking of killing yourself. people. Oh boy. Speaking of... Speaking of killing people, Ben... Something happened. Is this, is it, uh, oh shit, ben, do motherfucker. You want to go to a do you want to go to a race war this weekend? Is that a fucking <laughs> segue? Oh. Race war? Well, ben... <laughs> Sounds not conducive to my health. I so think I'm say I think he's too. talking about the uh, the whitest kids you no. know sketch. I yeah. think. Yeah. Yes. Okay. He is talking but about actually, Ben, I need somebody to like help me change tires and stuff like that. So actually, can you come to a race war? Ah. <laughs> uh, no. Sort of saves it, but not really. Well, we're in a race. And we ha we're at war with each other at the same time, so it's a race war. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was uh, a joke from SAO Abridge. Is that canceled? No, it's DBZ Abridge that got canceled. It just hasn't come out with an episode in like a year, two no, years. No, DBZ Abridge didn't get canceled. They said that after the Cell Saga, they went through, they started the Boo Saga, but they couldn't make it funny. So they're like, we're just not going to do it. Fair enough. Wait, isn't Could've that wait? The, uh, so they just Could've? not doing the so, the boo saga or? Uh, they they said that you know after the cell saga they're pretty much done. They're gonna do like skits and stuff, but they're not gonna do any more oh, actual yeah, no. well, like, can, the whole series anymore. That's canceled. But they're not making the thing anymore. It's canceled. I mean, that's called finished in my book. But it's a uh, bridge series of a series that still had more to tell. That's not. That's not finished. That's. That's sounds canceled. like but that's but no canceled. I mean, they're choosing to do it because they want to do other things. I get why they're doing it. And more so, anyways, we are literally arguing please, semantics. Please here. talk about the more important thing: is the race war <laughs> from White's like, Kids? You know, skits. You're really wait, 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 what's, about this what's race war? Your, what's the, <laughs> wait, bring your wait, hold on. What what is what is your girlfriend? She she Italian? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bring her. Actually, maybe maybe, maybe don't bring her. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> race war! Race war. Really talking about I don't want to do that! No? <laughs> no? <laughs> oh, it's such Christ. a good skit. Christ. Um, like died as... Friday evening from an accident. His death was confirmed by his manager. They issued a statement on his behalf of his wife. So, he, yeah, wise kid, you know, co founder died. Oh, well, that kind of brains on my parade. Yeah, like, fuck. It's such. Yeah. I mean, he has a good also, time, Jeff. What the fuck? He also has so many other good skits too. Stuff like, uh, oh, the one on Therefore. Twitter. Yeah, the one on Twitter I uh, reposted. Oh, I gotta go find that again. It, it's about him just going like, "Look, it might be illegal to say that the pre you're planning on killing the president, but I'm saying it's like <laughs> he keeps going into it over and over, saying how he's going to." <laughs> I can kill the president at certain ways at certain times. It's like was oh, the no. white was the whitest kid you know the sketch that did the one about female balls? 
Yes. And the moment it became gay. Yes. That's, that's also voice kids, you know. I think he was in that sketch. Hold on. Oh, frick. The female balls thing was so also. <laughs> Every time they like. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was the one explaining. OK, so and then the chick whips out her balls and then immediately someone else goes, that's gay. And they go, no, how's that gay? Come on. <laughs> Like, <laughs> so childish. <laughs> like the content is just so childish, child, ugh, child, childish, childish, and also like just like over the top funny. I just thing is like the best shit ever. Yes. Oh wait, I can edit that link to make it so that it plays within. Aha! Now, now you can just play. Hit the play button. Yes. Uh, but yeah, like, fuck, it kind of sucks because like I think this probably was the funniest dude ever. Maybe, oh wait, hold on. Who who would be funny ever? No, you'd be funny ever. You just take it away too soon. Mm-hmm. Fuck. But yeah, no, I'm really sad that uh that voice that happened. I'm actually kind of distraught. So thank you, Ben. You're welcome. Ben, do you have any topics for this week? Uh, Has anyone played a video game other than me? Uh, I mean, Final Fantasy. 14. Yes. That counts. I played yeah. more. Oh, can I rage about Path the, of Exile? How about that? The, the, <laughs> yes, hold on while I go get a fork. I played more PUBG. And actually, oh, that game to, is actually. You to leave before I went to a rant about Path of Exile. <laughs> <laughs> I will be able to uh, sort of follow along with that since my <laughs> since Seven plays uh, Path of Exile. Oh, so you 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 don't know about the the three fifteen? Dude, uh, I don't I, like. I've never touched oof. it. I don't know what's going on with what you're talking about. He's been playing a bunch of Grim Dawn lately, which looks more or less the same to me. <laughs> but uh, so they've been kind of on this this path of just like uh of I guess destruction of speed because so there was a league called Harvest League and in that you you built a a garden and you could determinously deterministically craft gear. Well because of that Anything and everything your wildest imagination could happen because you could easily target craft any kind of dumb gear you wanted. So there was a lot of really dumb, really powerful builds. Okay. And I think this was after Delirium. So people were farming 100% Delirium, which is the hardest possible a map can get, and then speed clearing it for just printing money, basically. So they removed Harbins that were not going to let it go core because like they didn't know how to you know have a thing that you built yourself become pre-built and then like not feel like shit and then when they re-released it it was still kind of the same but it was just a little slower so again everybody was just printing whatever gear they wanted for whatever crazy bullshit they wanted and everybody was happy the world was in a great place and then they nerfed it and they nerfed it in the worst possible way because they said basically every remove craft. So basically, when you when you roll an item, you roll random affixes and prefixes on it. Mm-hmm. Well, with harvest, you could target remove specific uh, mods. So like mods had like tags. So like they'll be like you know be like fired elemental. You're, you're rolling uh, for random gear damage. but you could take off certain things out of the, out of yeah, the so pool? You, you could specifically target something, yeah. Okay. Uh, and not re-roll the item. Okay. Uh, so basically they took off all the remove crafts. So basically if you got a mod on there, like uh, a T10 mana mod, you, were, you can't target remove it anymore. You're just stuck with it now. Mm. So it made you would brick gear way more often now so basically like all those like super niche builds were just destroyed and then they then they came there for the next build way to get the gear they needed yeah so then and then and then they came for the builds that were just busted without gear and then they came for the for the the chase items so all the crazy uniques nerfed into the ground 
And then they're like, that we're going to bust boss drops. And then they nerf all the boss drop items. And then this league, they come around and they're like, we still don't like where things are going. We're nerfing all damage across the board 40 to 60%. Yeah, but now my numbers feel so small. This hurts me and I've and never touched the game. And then they're like, we're also slowing down all of the movement skills. So you nerf all the movement skills. And they're like, we're also going to nerf so they all movement speed items. So all the movement speed skills, all the movement speed items. And then they reworked flasks on top of that. And then they also reworked elements. So you can't get element immunity anymore. Okay. So it's basically just this massive power nerf like across the board. It is beyond ridiculous how much they stacked into this patch. And... It is atrocious how how bad they made everything. That doesn't, yeah, that, I want to say that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, given that like Path of Exile seems like the type of game where you're just farming all of the time. So making it farming less efficient, it just doesn't seem conducive to like what people want out of the game. Like farming already isn't fun on a base level. Now it's just. Not fun and slow. Yeah, it's it's strange because it's like they did this like they put out a mechanic, the, the delirium mechanic, and then people were farming, you know, ridiculously like powered up maps with delirium on them, and they're like, we don't want you to do that. It's like, so why do you have delirium in the game then? If you don't want and us then to kill it, yeah. like, and it's like we don't want you doing ridiculously juice maps either. That's you know the stacking modifiers on a map like so we you, you don't want us to do that either then why would you give us items to do that <laughs> and then they're like flasks are too powerful so we're gonna nerf them and they were like okay that makes sense oh but we're nerfing ailment immunity along with the flasks so it's like so not only now do oh and <laughs> they also doubled mana costs as well <laughs> So, not only did they double the mana cost, nerf the flask. So now you can't. So now you you need to run a mana flask that you will probably be empty most of the time because you'll run out of it. The health flask, and then your support flasks are nerfed so badly that your defenses are not great and barely on barely on demand at that point because it went from always up to now you almost never have them. Mm -hmm. And then you put in an item that will let you auto trigger the flasks. <laughs> but it's like, but you want us to make a decision of when to use the flasks? Like, make up your mind. <laughs> and then they killed two of the most popular builds, also in this patch, because they made cast on crit. You have to have the mana to cast the abilities that you're casting on crit. Mm. So now you can't just reserve all your mana and then cast a cheap spell that crits and then cast all your spells. Well, that kill, like I said, that literally kills like three of the most popular builds. And people are like, "Why are you killing like the most popular chase builds? Like, what what are you doing?" <laughs> My friend, <laughs> it's just like, yeah. And then and, and then of course, like with the the damage nerf, it's like then you're also nerfing all of the actual bad builds nobody plays. So now you're just making it so the meta builds don't work. They literally, there's a skill jump that just doesn't work right now because what it does is whenever you do a wand attack, it casts the spell that's linked to the spell, but you have to reserve the mana cost of the spell. So if you put buffing gems in the buff the damage of that spell and you it reserves all of your mana for one spell and then you do the attack it's literally a roundabout way of casting a spell worse now <laughs> because you still need a mana to cast the spell it's just and then so like a the bunch of people build, just stop playing because the game is just less yeah, fun to play now exactly and then the one build that's actually been reigning supreme for six or seven seasons has literally not been touched at fucking all <laughs> and it doesn't make any sense like one of the one of the youtubers he's like I, he made a joke he's like every season i will make a guide for ed contagion until they nerf it and he's like it has to be nerfed this season because it was literally so strong Everything, one season it was like 10 percent of the player base was playing yeah he's like it has to be nerfed and they didn't even not a single touch not mana change not anything changed on it 
and he just and he's sitting there in front of his computer. He's just like, I'm here again, making another ED contagion link starter build, and he's just so mad. It's just he. Oh, oh my god! I don't get hilarious. it, man. Contagion uh, Chad's win again, boys. <laughs> Chad money. And the the weirdest thing is is that the current meta build right now is shield throw. And shield throw has been notoriously garbage from the beginning of time. And is now the current best meta, meta build. And I just I don't know what to think of the, the game underdog. right now. It is the underdog oh story. Oh my god. Well, it's, I understood it's most of that. Bad. Most of the I, I know there's a bunch of streamers that aren't even playing it anymore because of how bad it is. Hmm. Has anyone else played any video games this week? I uh, played uh, more, a little bit more uh, was it, uh, PUBG. And okay, just, so you played games that we've talked about. Yes, but <laughs> you, the, but here's the more to... important thing about it, though. What uh, the the game actively updated its menus so it doesn't feel like it's the jank piece of shit. I'm just <laughs> well, I don't believe you. It, it feels so much better. If, if That's the, not true. You're lying. so much better. That's like saying that that Halo Master Halo Infinite does not have horrible UI. It's it's not it, that's not true. You're lying. Stop lying. Uh huh. OK, I need physical proof of this. I mean, you can install it and play it for yourself. I have it installed already, but I refuse to actually boot it up. Hmm. Well, it sounds like you needed to get a play group together and just go for it once. And you just uh, you'll see fine. the menus are actually better. You don't feel like a fucking like uh, weird mod of another game. And also the game itself, like there's a couple of times I was like, oh, this doesn't look like utter trash anymore. It actually feels like its own standalone video game. Which is great. It, it only took how long? Yeah, it only, it only took, took like so many years. <laughs> like, it only took six years. What? What? What's the worst that happens? Um, yeah, their entire player base leaves because every other BR is better than it. I mean, that's a true fact. Is there really? Any- Except Warzone, because fuck Warzone. I mean, Warzone <laughs> is made by Activision Blizzard. It can literally give you like golden. They could literally be sending you gold bars in the mail, and I still wouldn't recommend anyone play that game. Because fuck Dacavision. And I think I'm understandable, just... honestly. I don't know. I've no, never it's... touched. I've never really touched uh, Battle Royale games at all. Not my bag. The closest Apex I ever got Josh would be Rawley. the closest I ever got with it was like Josh. thinking about Apex. Uh, Apex hey, Legends. Apex was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, except to kill Titanfall too. Yeah. Well. And I'd rather there's... just play Titanfall too. I mean. Oh, well, I sorry. Yeah. Not Titanfall two. Not Titanfall two. Titanfall three. My mistake. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, no, yeah. Let, me, let me clarify that. It came after Titanfall 2. Titanfall 2 is, still exists and is great. I mean, Titanfall 2 <laughs> recently got turned back online. Cool. So. Good. Yeah, oh, no. If I own yeah, Titanfall, I might try it. I mean, it, I, I did, it did have a. Actually, actually no. I, I, I talk shit about like Apex, uh, Apex Legends, but like, it actually did. Like, Titanfall 2 did have like a resurgence recently where a bunch of like Apex players were just like, who had been recommended it nonstop, were just like, all right, I'm going to play it. And they're like, this is fucking rad. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, it is. It's yeah, the, the, the recognition. Spunk. The, the it's recognition the, is better late than never, you know? It's the best spunk gargle wee wee game ever made. I and that what? Is, it's oh. the best Call of Duty game ever made. And if you don't understand that reference, somebody needs to watch I, Zero Punctuation. Because I haven't watched secret. Zero Punctuation since I was in fucking middle school. So is it Yancy, still around? Yes. 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 Fucking and props good. to Nazi! Holy shit! I remember so, reading the novel he he, he made. Actually, he, I think he's made multiple. I remember reading the first he novel made a, he made. He made a novel called Jam. It's he about made a novel Jam. called Mog World that I read. Yeah, that was about um, like an a, an NPC in an MMO <laughs> becoming self aware. Yeah. Um, nah, dude. Titanfall Two is the best Call of Duty game by far. People. I wouldn't even call. I wouldn't call it a tall Call of Duty game. No, 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 no. But it's like if Call of Duty continued down the same trajectory instead of trying to become Battlefield trajectory, 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 
trajectory. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> I'm dumb. Oh boy, here, here we go. Sorry, the English language thing Sorry I just needed to. I just needed to stop that for a moment. <laughs> if, if Call of Duty continued down the same trajectory that uh, Call, um, it was Advanced going down. Advanced Warfare did. Yeah, it would have been. Time Except fall. it was never as good. Yeah, it just, it, it just sort of was. slapped like the, the, the jump jutting wall running shit into like existing Call of Duty maps rather than like building the maps around the idea of the movement like Titanfall 2 did. Mm -hmm. It was never as good. Every time I see it, I have to link it to you. Mm -hmm. What? To, to Jeff. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Stop screwing the Vaporeon, he gets it. Thanks. But he's in a blender. <laughs> oh that one all right hey look i need my gatorades it really helps when i'm intoxicated <laughs> your gatorade <laughs> um oh dear i mean look 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 josh you would agree with me if when i'm intoxicated i need a gatorade you do yes and blue <laughs> gatorade is scientifically proven to be the best <laughs> you know what? Yep. Um, I, I don't really have a stake in that statement, but you, since you put it out there, I feel the need to fight you. Fuck you. G Blue Gatorade is garbage. Orange forever. What? All right. I think I think I need to draw. I think I need to take a stand on this. Blue Gatorade is superior. Oh, you're both wrong. I I it, like. It's impressive how wrong you are. It depends. Wait, which Blue Gatorade are we talking about? Are we talking about the light Blue Gatorade or the dark Blue Gatorade? Because there's a complete difference. Yeah, I mean, both, dark, dark blue, from, dark blue, like, mid to low tier. All right, I'm you're wrong. It's the light blue one. Light blue is the best. <laughs> I don't know. Well, well, I'm kind of an flavor. expert on, on, on Gatorade because I drank what it every day while I, I, was, I, at, while I was working concrete. Uh, and blue, mid mid at best. Mid. Are we go, are, do we have to do a fucking <laughs> Gatorade tier list now? I yes. Live, holy shit. I live by red is best. We'll argue, is, we'll argue over it. <laughs> red is always best red can never hey what you know what's good cherry you know what's always good in any almost anything the cherry board? slash coke and the, cherry slash uh what we no well, well here's the thing we'll argue over which one is best and the more tortured your reasoning for liking a specific color of gatorade is the better the more points it gains <laughs> you have to come up with like the biggest ass pulls <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know what okay, helps so cover up for murder? Us. Red cherry. Let's get some Gatorade red cherry and cover up that. It's the fruit punch. It's the fruit punch is the worst one. Uh, when I was a vampire for three yeah, months. No, well, we agree on that at least. Fruit punch F tier. When I was a vampire for three months, I had to drink red gator. I had to use red Gatorade containers in order to hide my blood. Why it oh, was your blood or like your victim's blood? My victim's blood. Oh, okay. victim's blood. I, I thought it would be weird that a vampire would be carrying their own blood. Yeah, um, that seems. I feel like that's just sort of like masturbating for vampires, drinking their own blood. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> like if another vampire catches you doing it, but just post pictures on the no, internet, and you'll get laughed at, laughed out of the vampire community. No, actually, it'd be more of like you notice another vampire doing the same thing and you just go give a nod to each other and keep walking. Yeah. <laughs> do you think anyone other than vampires drinks red Gatorades? Man, you have to be a sociopath to do that. <laughs> uh, they don't even drink it. They just pour it down the, the, the tub and then uh, fill it up with blood. Oh, man, did you... <laughs> I was just I was just browsing Reddit. Did you see that Apple phone thing mm -hmm. that will scan all your photos now? Yeah. What? You can do that now? Yeah, apparently uh, Apple is, uh, their new phones are going to have a program or whatever to scan your photos and look for uh, child abuse and CP on your phone. Oh, boy. Okay, that's fair enough, but also, holy fuck, do I not want <laughs> Apple to have that kind of power. Like... I get the reasoning, but Jesus fuck! Like, can we not see the horrible, like, cyberpunk dystopia we are hurtling towards? I mean, yeah. we have people. No, because Apple fanboys don't give a fuck. I mean, Jesus. I would just say, Ben. I would, I would, con I would just say that uh, I think there's a select group of people who just don't give a fuck. Ben, I agree with you. I wouldn't just plainly put this on Apple fanboys, but holy fuck, man. 
It's just America in general, dude. We're all just fucking just leading the charge. I, I we am don't looking, give a fuck. I, for one, welcome our new dystopian cyberpunk no! future. No! No! Fuck them! I mean, if, I if it turns out anything like the cyberpunk video game, we have nothing I'll to fear. Ju- actually, because, you man, know what? I'm fine. I'm just not. I'm mess. just going to continue not buying Apple products. <laughs> uh, yeah, which is I not hard to do. Apple product ever. I mean, it will eventually become a thing on like everything. But fuck, man. Yeah. Horrible cyberpunk dystopia. I just can't wait for the false flags of like. You took a, well, let's say I you can't took, believe I'm getting invasive phones before I'm getting sick robot arms. This is bullshit. I know. Uh, I know. My gorilla arms. I want to be able to punch through brick walls. I want it's because to, the average person is too poor because the rich don't give a shit about enough to have us actually buy anything anymore. That's why you're not getting cool robot arms because you would never be able to afford them. Fuck, you're and right. The rich people don't want to have their insurance pay for them if you lose an arm. Uh, but cool robot arms. I yeah. mean, only, only, only for the This is the darkest timeline. I want my jetpack. God damn it! Yeah. Uh, any, any. So, anyways, uh, Necromunda has Gene Steelers in it. Like the tabletop game. Yeah. Um, no. Or the, the or the video game. Shooter. The shooter. What is this like DLC? I never played no, it. No, like uh, Mission Seven. It? They have Gene Steelers in it. Oh, did so. it like just come out? I remember the scene yeah, in the trailer it came out for a couple, it. It came out a couple, a couple while back, but... Oh, you just started playing it now? Yeah. All right, well, that's cool. Yeah. Makes sense. So, yeah, it's pretty nice. Yeah. It's pretty good I mean, game. I've been tangentially interested in, like, Necromunda ever since uh, my buddy Say was like, well, I'm going to run, like, some uh, like a Necromunda league for a little bit. And then only, like, me and one other guy made teams. And then it just sort of fell apart. I... Actually, hold on. I still have my like list of my uh, my Goliath gang. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Continue talking. So, anyways, uh, yeah, Necromunda, pretty good game. People should play it. It's very fun, fantastic. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's still fun. Uh, also, Steam Deck. We have videos on it, people handing on. It's very good, very fantastic. Everyone's enjoying it. Is that the Steam handheld thing? Yeah. It's good? Yep. You can actually, like, run things? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. It's more, it's like a, how would you describe it? Like, just a good, like, laptop type of dealie with controllers on it? Yeah, uh-huh. pretty much. Is it is it at least like at a comparable price point to like pretty much the Switch? No, yeah. well, I mean it's more money, and if you want more memory in that damn thing, you have to fork up a bit. What? But other than other um, than forking up more money, uh, it's I would say uh, it's like Boston getting pizza. like a gamer laptop, quote unquote. No. Because, like, you're buying it for the gamer laptop. Uh, you're not necessarily get, being like, I'm going to upgrade this later. No, that thing's not that thing's not necessarily going to get upgraded. Yeah. What? So, really, you're getting for the portability slash, like, oh, I could put play almost anything on this dumb thing and it will play it fine. You know, I think yeah. the only things you can't play are probably like that intense FPS game that uh, why are you doing that on this? Maybe you just want to play on the train or something like that's literally Literally, the, the this is the the people that want to play like weird PC garbage on the train. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like uh, if we really want to uh, torture test this, it's not Crisis anymore. It's Ark Survival Evolved. Yep. Exactly. God, that game is such a fucking dumpster fire. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was able to tell that looking at it the first time. I mean, Doom Eternal is a good game. What game is dumpster fire? Ark Survival Evolved. Oh, I keep seeing I keep seeing that, that game once for still twice. Exists? Yeah, yeah. They actually had a new DLC drop, like maybe last month. It's their final one before they go into Arc Three. But I mean, like the game is just so like unoptimized and just like kind of mm, just doesn't look good. 
even like turn all the way up. Like, and, and then like you need such a ridiculous computer to run at a 60 FPS. Like, uh, there was like a big <laughs> time where like all the VTubers were playing it, like all the Japanese ones, and they were playing it on like 360p just to be able to stream that shit. Cause it was, and it was so like blurry and just gross. And I'm like, why? It looks so bad. I mean, Ben, do you watch VTubers? Do you watch VTubers, no. Ben? Oh, okay. I do. I do. So, okay. I watch highlights. Again, I don't like watching streams because I think it's incredibly boring to just sit there and watch a stream. I'd rather watch stream highlights. So, yes, I watch VTuber stream highlights. Okay. I kind of do the same thing, <laughs> although uh, more about like vine sauce and stuff like that. Yeah. Fine then. <laughs> is, it, is it because you have a favorite and you're afraid that I'm going to hate them? Is that what it is, Jeff? No. I'm just curious. Fine then. Who's your favorite VTuber? Throw it out there. Just do it. Uh, well, we have to go with the classic original, Project Melody, and Zen. She doesn't count. Uh, can I go with the I can't podcast? Find my, uh, uh, the Necromunda thing. What? What are we talking about? VTubers? VTubers. You, you, can't, you, you can't just be like, yeah, Project Melody. Jeff likes the porn one. Horny. Yeah. Tracks. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I'm I mean, gonna go with my favorite VTubers, Cold Ones. Yeah. With the Maximilian. Uh, no, sorry, not Maximilian. It's actually, uh, actually, Max Mofo. You wanna, actually, you want to know my favorite VTuber? It's a VTuber that Ben's never heard of. But literally, its name, his name is Mr. Dukes, and it's literally just an Xbox playing video games. It's hilarious. I should, be, I should become a VTuber who's just a skeleton. You should. Uh, Who's got like a minimum wage job as a minion for an evil overlord and just like plays games in his spare time. I think like that would be a good gimmick. <laughs> Nobody can steal mm -hmm. that now. That's yeah, until IP I, law I, gets I, in, until IP law gets rescinded. <laughs> that's that's yeah, my better, idea. You better get on that then. <laughs> I'm just, just gonna trade There's so hat. many of them out there. I own skeletons now. I, I, <laughs> I mean, at least you, at least you didn't say that you're gonna be a. Uh, a furry dog femboy that loves to talk about how much they want it in their butt all the time. Oh boy. No, no, Wait, no I, I, I want to be a skeleton <laughs> that exists that is just kind of depressed about his job being a temp minion for evil overlords. I mean, I mean, I just want to be an Xbox that like every single time you hit follow or like, um, the weird faces of, pop up. <laughs> the hours of those jobs are murdered 24 7. So he just like. <laughs> plays video games to me to help pass the time, but doesn't want to get caught by his boss. Some sort of middle management, slightly larger skeleton with like a helmet and a sword. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, better yet, you're playing video games on your respawn timer. <laughs> it's, 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 it's how long before like, the, the adventures came through and, and killed me, but I just sort of played dead. I'm really good at playing dead since I'm, you know, a skeleton. Mm-hmm. And then you just kind of pop off the golf. It's like, all right, guys, I got like about four hours. Forgot to be back in the dungeon again. Let's yeah, get some let's, fucking, let's fucking in go. Hell we're just yes. playing. We're playing Final Fantasy right now. <laughs> uh. It's like, oh hey, I know that guy over there. Yeah. We entered at the same dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just brutally murder him. I don't He's know. Like, I like. I, I. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really watch a lot of YouTubers, but I do think some of them have fun like gimmicks, like being suck fucking super villains. Text to speech right? is the best gimmick. No, I it's still uh, shit. You just like so you just like Zen because it's ambiguous and they're moderately funny. Yes. I mean, being moderately funny is a t is pretty I mean, good. On I the don't internet. even watch this shit as much as I should, as much as like I could, because like literally all day I just end up like on work, so I'm like just I have usually YouTube running on the side. But I like, feel like a man. lot of people are real, real down on like VTubers, but it's just like a kind of just doing another face cam thing. I don't care if you have it or not. Like, I I, think if you're funny, you're funny. That's all I care about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, I think it keeps that like an anonymity that some people need on the Internet. Good. And you should them, like be able to be themselves. You should be more. able to have fucking anonymity on the Internet. Because I think Apple. the biggest thing that like a lot of people don't like about streaming is that it almost feels like you need a webcam 
and the rise of VTubers is just the fact that, like, you can have a webcam that is, like, an attractive character, and then, like, people can associate with that character, and then you can play a character, and then everybody not be confused when, like, you have real-life stuff where, like, you're not the character anymore. Because, like, especially, like, with, like, Dr. Disrespect, Dr. Disrespect is a character, but then, like, people might see him in real life, and then he's not the character, and then, like, mm-hmm. that brings problems for him, you know what I mean? I, I just, I just, I just want Rory to voice my ex box character what you clearly have no interest in this topic that i'm saying and i can see it no 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 i get it jeff well at the very least i'm interested (laughs) yeah yeah uh no i I get it like i know like a a couple of like youtubers who have like or like content creators i I really don't like using that term but like you can't just say youtuber because there's a lot of people on a lot of things uh, streamers or what have you like having like out their personalities interacting with like people in real life who think who think that that's the entirety of you like, I, I'm pretty sure like Tyler once had problems with that given that he's like just this fucking rage machine on stream and it's sort of just kind of a chill guy in real life mm-hmm. or at least in front of ra- uh, randos he is that angry at League of Legends, though? I, honestly <laughs> I mean, feel that's, like that's I feel like that's it. less him and more just the fault of League of Legends. Mm-hmm. True, because League of Legends is a bad game. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> anything else we want to talk about? Uh, I'm kind of drawing a blank, personally. I mean, this is the first uh. time I've been on since I actually joined. Actually, no. I've been on since the last time I joined uh, Ben Star Wars game, but I mean, uh, not really well, much yeah. to talk about there. I mean, we could talk about the mimes who've taken over the internet. What mimes? Oh, oh the porn- pornographic mimes? Here we go. <laughs> uh, you know what? Let's end the podcast. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. <laughs> at least keep it PG, well, right? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Like, if this was like at the start of the podcast, I, I, it would be material. I could make fun of these these chuckle fox for jerking it to mimes or whatever. But like, it's we're just about to end. I'm not gonna remember this by the next time I'm on the podcast. So just like, <laughs> I don't know, come up with jokes about these guys wanting Our to fuck pod- mimes on your own time. <laughs> Our podcast is just fever dreams in the first place. So if you'd be like, oh, magic yeah, and of, mime no. fucking, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then we talk about politics. I think I ah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, no. Here's the, here's the thing. None of, we're all over the place. Here's the thing, gentle li- listener. None of this is real. Wake None up. None of it's real. Wake, wake, up. Up. wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. We're wake dying. up. We need wake you. Up. <laughs> <laughs> and Sir Keanu Reeves. Wake up, samurai. <laughs> Wake the fuck up, samurai. <laughs> samurai. Got city to burn. I Colonel really Jason like to, like, X Kennedy, you need to wake up right now. <laughs> I really hope I didn't wake up my neighbors by screaming, wake up on my computer just now at 1130 <laughs> at night. <laughs> Man, this would be kind of a dick move. Oh, it's time, time to wake up from this podcast. It's from oh. us off at this point. Just Thank you for here. listening to the Black Mind Games podcast. Episode oh. 212. No, 312. <laughs> you listen to us every week on the Black Mind Games. Pogbean.com. You're subscribed to us on your favorite podcasting app of choice. Thank you, Josh, as always. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Rory. Um, anytime. Bye-bye. And thank you, listener, for listening. Have a good night. And bye. Good night.
everyone recording right now? Yeah, I just turned it on. Josh, are you recording? Because I was in an instance that Josh is so mad at me. Recording. There we go. Because, like, we were talking COVID. Oh, let me go, uh, let me check to see if my cat needs to come real quick. I'll be right back. I'm sorry, Josh, for talking COVID and saying that you're wrong. Mm. You have a completely valid opinion. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, no, I started a war by accident on Facebook with a friend. Everything's probably okay. He's probably not that bad. Um, but it was like us talking about like, oh, well, you're being way too political. And I'm like, what? Or actually, no, it was me saying they're saying, no, people should get the vaccine. And him saying, no, he shouldn't get the vaccine. But that's okay. Everyone's allowed to have an opinion. Um, Ben, do you have anything you want to talk about uh, during pre-ramble? Uh, I mean, not really. <laughs> Josh, do you have anything you want to talk about during pre-ramble? Uh, I don't think I have much to say in general other than I got some great polls on Magic Gathering cards. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You guys sound so thrilled to do this tonight. I... Okay, well, let's think, because I had a shitty... Last weekend was great. So Is this coming back again? Sink in three, two, one. 